Hi, I'm Tony Luke Jr. Today I'm gonna to show you how to reheat your Tony Luke cheese steaks right in your own kitchen. Now the steaks are gonna come in frozen. So you can keep them in your freezer until you're ready to use them. But once you wanna make them, you wanna thaw them out overnight. Now, these have been sitting in my refrigerator about a day and a half. So they're ice cold, but they're not frozen. They need to be fully thawed. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tray, we're gonna put a foil line tray up, we're gonna lay the cheesesteak in the center of the tray. We're gonna preheat the oven at 375 degrees. We're gonna put the rack in the middle because that's where you wanna cook this. So once the oven reaches temperature, we're gonna place the tray with the cheesesteak in the center of the oven. We're gonna put our timer for 25 minutes. Now ovens do vary, so it could be a little longer, a little less according to the temperature of your oven. So meet me back here in 25 minutes, and we're gonna enjoy a great cheesesteak. All right, it's been 25 minutes, so get a rag or a mitten, because it'll be very, very hot. We're gonna take it out of the oven, and we're gonna lay it right here on top of the stove. Then what you wanna do is you wanna take a thermometer if you have one. I wanna place it directly into the center of the sandwich. But that thermometer should read between 140, 145, 150, around that area. And believe me, it'll be very, very hot. So once you've done that and it's reached temperature, we're gonna remove the thermometer, and we're gonna let this thing sit for about three minutes if you like the roll crispy. If you like a softer roll, you may wanna let it sit for about five, five and a half minutes, and what it'll do is it'll start steaming inside that paper. It'll make the roll a lot softer. All right, I like it a little crispy, so it's been about three minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sandwich, take any kind of scissors or something to cut with it. We're just cutting along the tape. And then we're gonna open the outer wrapper. And if you notice, inside, you'll see a parchment paper. So we're gonna remove the parchment paper, like so. And there's our sandwich. And that is very hot. Look at the steam coming out of that. And look how juicy that is. See the cheese, which is all melted inside. Woo, it's nice and hot, crispy. Hear that? Oh my God. That is very, very moist. If you take a really close shot of this, you will see what I mean. See all the cheese? There's a plenty of cheese inside this sandwich. Very, very moist. And I can't talk about this anymore without actually eating it. So like in Philly, we're kind of lean over our wrapper and we're gonna take a bite of this. Mm. That is so creamy. You get that cheese, that delicious ribeye, and a nice crunchy roll. I know you're gonna enjoy this as much as I'm enjoying it now. Remember, now you can get Tony Luke's delivered right to your door. Take care and definitely enjoy, cause I am.